With that, uh, the confirmation of Gordon McDonald fails. The governor calling it unprecedented as the executive council votes three to two to reject McDonald's confirmation. Mr. McDonald has worked for and supported highly partisan politicians with shockingly extreme views. I asked, were there times where you separated yourself from these extreme views? And there were none. What they did in terms of putting a black mark on, other, on otherwise unprecedentedly positive uh, legal career to one of the great legal minds we have in this state, what they did today for political reasons is completely inappropriate. McDonald was being considered to replace Chief Justice Robert Lynn. I am deeply humbled and gra uh, grateful for the extraordinary support I've had from uh, both sitting and retired judges, lawyers, advocates, friends, all representing a broad spectrum of political views. The governor paused the judicial nominating process, including the nomination of Public Utilities Commission Chair Martin Honigberg to the Superior Court. I appreciate your bias in the situation, but I will not put him through that at all. We're that's that's unfortunate. Uh, that, that's childish, to tell you the truth. Now, the governor says he wants to reset and revisit the issue with the counselors and the legal community. He says only then when he believes the process is fair will he consider moving forward with other nominees. Live in the studio, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.